Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Um, I am currently on my way driving to my next Challenge Esme. Now, if you're like me, one of my favourite things is horses, but also one of my favourite things is chocolates. So I have been challenged to make some, well I was going to say horsey chocolates, they're going to be chocolates inspired by horses, not actually chocolate for horses. Um, so I'm going to a chocolate factory today and I thought, you know what, now is the best time to do it, coming up to Easter, so let me take you along. So everybody, meet Jack. Jack has a chocolate factory and he's invited me for a special horse art chocolate challenge. And as you can see from these super satisfying videos, he is excellent at his craft. So we're now here in a chocolate factory. We're at Art Chocolat with Jack. So thank you very much for having me. Can I just say the first thing? It smells so much like chocolate in here. I really wish you could smell it. It's like being in an Easter egg. I guess you've kind of lost the sense of oh, smell for it. Yeah, I'm 100% nose blind now. I can't smell any chocolate whatsoever. But um, my name's Jack and I run a company called Art Chocolat where we make very luxurious, very high-end, colorful luxury chocolates using the finest ingredients, and we supply hotels, restaurants, and sell online, and we ship across the world. Very nice. I've got to say, you do have some very fancy looking equipment around here. So what is the challenge for today? The challenge today is we're gonna make a horsey themed Easter egg. So we're gonna use a stencil cutter to create a stencil on the egg that we're gonna paint in, in lots of different colors to make a really nice, bright, colorful, sunny day scene. We're gonna put your logo in there and we're gonna make it a little bit of a competition, you okay. know, kind of me yeah. versus you. I have a feeling yours might be a little bit better than mine, especially when explaining that all, it does sound, sound quite like complex. So yeah, I'll yeah, give them the best shot. But I'll help you along the <laughs> way. And um, yeah, we're gonna have good fun and we're gonna make a horsey themed Easter egg. Awesome, let's get started. I didn't quite realize how big these Easter eggs are gonna be. Like if I put that together, that is huge. That's like the size of my head almost. Wow. Okay, pressure, pressure's on for me to do this right. because gonna be a big egg. Okay Esme, so when you're making an Easter egg, you actually have to kind of work a bit back to front okay. and a bit backwards in reverse. It's all a bit confusing. So yeah. the first thing we're actually gonna do is do our decoration on the outside of the egg. Okay. So we're gonna paint our mold. Mm -hmm. We'll cut out our stencil using our machine. Yeah. Stick the stencil in. We'll airbrush in some colors. Then we have to very carefully pry the stencil out so it's nice and neat. Yeah. And then we paint in some more colors. And then right at the end, we actually do the fun bit, which, which is, is the chocolate. put the chocolate in. Okay. That's correct. <laughs> That's correct. I tell you what, you want to press the button. Yay. Press okay. the button. Where's the button? Just this there, little just green button go. down there. Just press go. Boom. And here we go. Now it's going to start cutting out our horsey stencil with the This Is Me logo. And the magic is about to happen. Oh, wow. It goes quite fast. Yeah, that's it. It's very precise and very quick. That's so satisfying. So we have our egg. We have our stencils, what's next? Right, so now comes probably one of the trickiest parts yeah. is, is we've got to stick the stencil into the mold. Okay. Now, the issue is obviously with an egg mold is that it's inverted. So you've got to so try and- So that's why this is kind of backwards. Yeah, exactly. Okay. <laughs> so that's why your logo and the horse head is backwards. And we've got to try and stick it in, minimizing any creases or anything to make sure everything's all flush. Okay. And, um, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a challenge. Yeah, it's gonna be a challenge for me, but especially for you. I might let you go first, and then I'll kind of like see what you end up doing. Okay, yeah. So I'll look, copy that. let me just. Uh, well, that is supposed to be a challenge, and yeah, you know. Come on, I'm not supposed to be helping you here, so we're just okay. gonna peel off the vinyl. Yeah, the horse does seem like the easier bet to start with. Like that. I'll do it gently, so you don't rip. It's like a sticker. It's exactly like a sticker, and then you kind of have to work backwards and check. Okay, where do you want this horse? So I'm, I'm liking my position. I'm liking my position there. Mm, let's, wow. show, let's, show, let's show the camera. Let's show the there people. There we go. There we go. I feel like mine's like a little bit more off to the side. Well, I'm not helping you any further, so. Okay. Well, it's like putting it a screen protector on a phone. If not, my horse can have some like little veins in its neck. Which horse does this look like the most? Is this more of a Joey or a... A Mickey. I'd say probably Casp, uh, Casper, yeah. Casper. To be fair, Casper would be the easiest horse to do because he is literally He's just, just plain white. Gray. Yeah, just plain plain white and non-horsey terms. So I've got my horsey here. Esme still hasn't got a horsey. It's uh... kind of, it's, it's pretty much down. It'll do, it'll do. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my horse is on. It's, I wasn't very good at the air bubbles. So it looks like it's gonna have some veins if some chocolate <laughs> goes through there. But I think it'll be fine. It's, 
Add a detail, add a detail, bonus points, I don't know. Okay, so the next thing, this is going to be a bit harder, mm -hmm. is your intricate little your intricate little logo, which is also backwards yep. at the moment. Oh, that's actually looking well cute. She's working quicker than me. See, I my aim for things is often speed, but not so much precision. Yeah. I do things, but probably not as carefully as I should. <laughs> Good. Like she's, it's down. She, she's quicker than me. You know. Yeah, but yours is probably gonna be better than mine. You should be. You should be the chocolatier here. Do I get my little yeah. my little cloth back? Exactly that. Get your scrubbing. little cloth back. So step one complete. I thought we'd do like a little comparison, see what each other each other have gone for. I feel like I quite like yours because it's kind of off at an angle, and I've got yeah. very kind of central. On mine. I'm not gonna lie, I'm very surprised by how quickly you got that down and how how well lined up. That's your first attempt as well, yeah. isn't it? You haven't I'm even quite proud of had to move it. Yeah, I've had to move mine about and get it. So you've done lined yours up. proper perfect, and I've just gone. You know, it, it, it is <laughs> what it is. It will it will do. So. What's the next step? So the next step now is to paint some colours in there, Ooh. which is one of the more fun parts. Yeah. So we're going to get the airbrushes out in a minute and the coloured cocoa butters, Ooh. and we're going to spray the colours in there. Nice. Um, I have seen you've got like a little rainbow oh, shelf yeah. of colours, which about... I've got to say is very satisfying. Not quite my saddle pad collection, but it is very cool. No, I think it's a step above your saddle yeah. pad collection. No. 25, have you got 25 different colours of saddle pack? I've got 100. I hit number oh, 100 okay. the other day, so <laughs> well, it is excessive. I'll stay quiet then. Okay. Okay, right, okay, let's yeah. paint some colours. Paint some colours, nice. So these are all the different coloured cocoa butters that I was talking about earlier. Look how satisfying it is all in a rainbow. But um, Jack's chosen like a green and a blue to kind of make it look like grass in the sky. Now I was thinking I'd go a little bit different. Um, I'm gonna, it's gonna be quite tricky to choose because they have so many cool colors. I think I might go my, uh, Mighty Mint. They have very interesting names. Um, but I, because I thought this sort of green is very Eastery, but then, you know, I've got to add a bit of pink to the mix. I mean, I do have pink nails on at the moment, but you know what? I think pink and green could look very cute together, so I'm gonna go for that. So you've got your little thing there, and that's for the clouds. That's yeah, the clouds. yeah so I've got a little sponge here. A little sponge it's just a little clouds. sponge on a stick. Okay. I'm gonna try and paint some clouds into yours. And so what are you gonna do? I'm gonna with do yours? pink, and I'm thinking I'm gonna try and do stripes. I feel like stripes could be quite fun. It's quite adventurous in my first go, though. Okay, you just. I feel like you do your thing. We're we're in competition now. I just remembered you said not to do it too, too wild, too thick. That's fine. Oh, it does smell really chocolatey. That's quite cool. Trying. I feel like I should have done different colours than green, so I don't know if the pink and the green are going to look a bit weird together, but you know what? This is, this is your egg, is me. This is my egg. So I've got a couple of little clouds in there. Oh, thank you. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. Okay, Mine so feels just... like a very sort of cartoony egg. Some kind of ombre effect. Yeah. Mm. There we go. Mine's definitely more pink than I was expecting. I think I went like a little bit too excited with the pink, but it does look quite cool with some little added green bits around. Well, look, oh yeah, I'm not gonna lie, yours is looking quite nice. Yours looks a bit like the Twister ice cream, yeah? It does, yeah, that's what it makes me think of. I've just, Jack, I've just, I've just got to say, we have been doing like a lot of <laughs> making. We haven't had any chocolate eating No, yet. we've got to have some patience, Ez. Okay, you've got to have okay. some patience because we're going to get there. All but right. the next step is one of the most crucial steps. And now mm. we've got to try and take the stencils out. Do I get to have the little picky? You do, you yeah. do. So we're going to use a very fancy tool called a, a weeder. And it's like when you go to the dentist and they yeah. have those pokey metal things. I'm going to try and poke under our stencil mm -hmm. and get it out. Cool. So it's easier said than done, so we'll give it a go. Alrighty. Okay, so. It feels like it's gonna be like playing operation. It is exactly like playing operation. Only with chocolate. Just peeling the horsey head away. I'm just itching to have a go. You're just better than, just better than me at this. I'm not better, I'm just <laughs> fast. <laughs> Now time for another egg update. So we've taken the little peely bits off. I feel like you've done a lot neater job than I have. Mine does look a little bit dodgy at the bottom. I think I kind of went into sort of scrape mode and I've probably, I'm really sorry if I have scratched your egg You've kind of stabbed bit. at it. Yeah, luckily yeah. these aren't the ones we use oh, okay. all the time. So we don't, we don't need them, but, but yours aren't too bad. Okay. You, the horse went well and then yeah, the, the, the rest letters. Was 
little you got a bit, bit fiddly. Got a bit stab happy, didn't you? I did, yeah, I did. Just went at it. Back to some more fun part. It's not yeah. as intense now. We're gonna yeah. we're gonna paint in our horse yeah. and our letters. Mm -hmm. So I don't know about you, but I think I'm gonna go for a brown, okay. kind of sparkly brown. Yeah. And uh, you're gonna go for was white. it white? Yeah. White. I feel like the white would look good with the pink and then it looks a bit like Caspi as well. Caspi I'll tell you what, you could even do eyes if you wanted to. Get like a little, do a little dot. Do a little dot, yeah. That could be very But cool. I don't know if that's overcomplicating things or not. So now, as we know, we've done our, we've done our painting. Mm -hmm. Now it's time for the, for the really fun part and that is to actually make the chocolate Easter egg. Nice. So are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, awesome. Is that awesome. machine over here? That's exactly where we're going. Nice. Okay. I've been looking at that all day, being yeah. like seeing this chocolate kind of like <laughs> bouncing down. So I'm excited. Awesome. So Jack, we're actually finally doing something with the chocolate rather than just cocoa butter. That is correct. So we've done our design, mm -hmm. you know, our eggs looking lovely and pretty. And uh, now it's time to actually create that Easter egg shell with yeah. some Colombian milk chocolate here. So we've got a nice, quite a cold mold here because this chocolate is tempered and it's going to thicken up due yeah. to the coldness and it's going to give us a really nice thick shell. So I'm going to show you how, how to do mine, yeah. like how I'll do mine and then you can go ahead and yeah, do it with yours it and go. see how it goes. <laughs> so first things first is to fill this egg mold all the way up with our tempered milk chocolate. Wow. Like so. Stop just once it's barely full. I'm gonna come over here and put it on the side. And we have to let that sit there for a few minutes mm -hmm. just so that shell thickens up. And here's, a, here's the back of the Easter egg as well. satisfying. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? Lovely. So I'm going to let mine sit here. Yeah. Just for a few minutes. Ooh. Oh, okay. So try and stand them up as evenly as you can. Now you'll see in a few minutes, mm -hmm. the chocolate around the edges will start to set. Yeah. And that's when we know we're good. We've got a nice thick Easter egg shell because we don't want a thin, flimsy one that's going to break easily. We want a nice thick one. And then we'll invert it out, tip the excess chocolate back into here, yeah. scrape it away, and wait for it to set. All right, Does that okay, sound is good? It my turn to give it a go. Take it out of the fridge. There's one. A second. Okay, so you fill yours up. Well, which one should I do first? I'll do the. I think this back. one first, because yeah, that's back. not as important. No. Okay, so if I just press my little press foot that on the puddle, that's it. And then I'll let go. go. Oh, she beeped you. She didn't like you oh, holding it for sorry. too long. Ooh, oh, there we like go. That. Now, just rest it against here for me. Look at that. Like a master chocolatier of many years. Will that stand up just like that? It's going to stand up nice. Okay, so there we go. All we've got to do is wait now. Mm -hmm. How long, like five minutes-ish? Oh, about five, ten minutes. It depends yeah. how thick we want our Easter egg shells to be. Yeah. I think we should have them quite, quite yeah. thick and meaty, you know, so <laughs> we'll wait a little bit. Okie dokie. Okay, so now my egg is done. Your yep. egg's still setting. Yeah. Can you see here how... It's like a bit harder around the edges. A bit harder around the edges. That's what we want. This means we're going to have a really nice, thick chocolate shell. Mm -hmm. So now it's just time to flip it over and empty out all this excess chocolate. Just like so. Look at that. Beautiful, Beautiful, eh? Pick it up, tap out any excess. Like so, and then we're just gonna scrape away this kind of lip of unmelted chocolate here. So now that's done, all we're gonna do is come over here. Yeah. And then we're just gonna Stomp it down on this parchment paper quite hard. So you're just going to go, give it one more tap. That's going to create a nice kind of flat lip on the egg. And that's it. Now we're just going to wait for that to set a little bit. And yeah. we'll put it in the fridge until it sets fully. And then we can take it out of the mold and have a look. Very nice. I feel like this is the part where I feel most under pressure to get it right. <laughs> so um, I'm just going to flip it and see how it goes. Ooh, got it on my fingers. Oh, making a mess. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you made it seem so easy. Try and hold it at the top. I don't know if your hands are... I don't have it. very big hands. I'm, I'm slipping. So, 
what you want now is to try to scrape away the rest of that excess. Oh wait, no, I've got, I've missed a bit. Or a bit <laughs> came out. Oh. oh no. That's it, careful. Careful, stay calm. That's good, that's good there. I'm panicking. So, remember what to do? Yeah. Flip. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that was maybe a bit violent. <laughs> <laughs> Whack that. Okay, I think that's enough. That is enough. Oh, okay. <laughs> he broke the mold. There you go, now you've got to do the important one. Oh, you've had no. a practice. Okay, I'm going to try and do this one a bit better. That's it. Magic tap. Let it, let it fall out a little bit for a second. Okay. Oh, it's still going. You can see it kind of. Weeing. There you go. So now that weeing. <laughs> or, or pooing. It probably looks better like it's pooing. Okay, and then scrapey scrape. That's it. A little bit of cocoa butter stuck there. And there you go. Now you want to... Okay, a bit of a less violent slap. It's a nice plonk. Plonk. There we go. Give it a little tap. There you have it. Now we've just got to wait for these yeah. to set. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll pop them in the fridge in a second and then um, it'll be time, hopefully, yes. to unveil our lovely Easter eggs. So Jack, you've now taken me to the warehouse while our chocolate's set and you have an Easter egg here that you're doing this year? Yeah, yeah. So this is what we actually make here at Our Chocolate when we're not making this Esme horsey eggs. <laughs> I'm just going to show you. This is our deep oh, wow. space. Very cool. This is our deep space galaxy egg. So it comes, comes all, in like a little nest. Yeah, it comes all nestled because it's very, very precious and we don't want to damage it. Inside, you have our deep space galaxy egg. So this so is actually pretty. this is actually filled as well. So our oh, ones wow. are hollow, it was just shell, but we fill this egg with salted caramel and a popcorn kind of popping candy mixture. So when you eat it and break into it, it's all going to be nice and gooey and oh, it's going to explode nice. in your mouth, kind of <laughs> like a bit of a supernova yeah. space vibe. So that's just one of the many things we do here. And we also- We've got a fridge back here full of things. Yeah, our main our main kind of product that we actually make is luxurious chocolates. So very colorful like this egg, but much smaller because they're individual chocolates. So I'll just, I'll show you some of them as well. Yeah. So, so as I was saying, we do chocolates here as well, which is our, which is our main kind of thing yeah. in this lovely gifty box. And they're actually made basically the same way as the Easter eggs. Just like little smaller versions. Just very, just much smaller, yeah, yeah. exactly. And we have 24 different flavors with all kind of different um, flavors to please one's palate. So we've got nut ones, fruit ones, kind of caramel ones. We cover all the classics. Yeah. So that, um, people are happy basically. So this is our yogurt, berries and granola one, which Ooh. is a bit more of our out there ones. Yeah. You know, I like to call this one the influencers breakfast. So this is, <laughs> this is definitely one for you. <laughs> Strawberry crumble here. I love how they look like little toadstools. Little toadstools, yeah. Mushrooms. Little Mario mushrooms. Yeah. This is one of our prettiest my ones. This the is Yuzu. our Yuzu dark chocolate. We, look how shiny that is. That's I mean, so pretty. don't know if you can see on there, but it's just gorgeous, isn't it? Tropical caramel here. This is like like sunshine, kind of in a chocolate almost. Wow. And yeah, a lot of people just kind of order these as gifts. Uh, it's a very gifty type of chocolate, you know, because it's quite high end and yeah. luxurious. This is our classic hazelnut praline here. Very nice. Something for the nut lovers. Again, another another one for the nut lovers. We've got our dark chocolate peanut here. But the colours all go very nicely they do, together. I've got to say they are very pretty. As someone who loves colours. It's all in the name, isn't it? Yeah. Art Chocolat. All that's left to do is put a little menu in it's there. It's like one of those like satisfying pack with me kind of TikToks. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> one of them pack with me TikToks. Here's our little menu with all the flavours on. 24 different flavours. Put this little cushion pad in there just to protect them. And then that's it. We box it up. Ready to go. And we send it off to, to the customer, whoever the lucky recipient is, which today is you, I guess. So oh, thank you very much. There we go. I want to say that oh, it's so pretty as well. It, 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 do you know what it feels like? You know when you like open up, open up like a new Apple phone, like it comes in such yeah, like a nice that box. box kind of it's got that same off. sort of premium feeling. Yeah, it's Thank nice when it much. slides off. Yeah. There we go. Right. Well, should we get back to our to our yeah, egg? Yes. Hopefully, Probably it's set by now. Nearly done now, yeah. and then let's go and check it out. Awesome.
Our eggs are now out of the fridge and they've set. This one here of mine, I think this is the one I slammed. It is quite a quite a thick boy. It there's quite a lot of chocolate there, so hopefully that will work out all right once that'll we put be, it together. That'll be all fine. Yeah, okay. someone's just going to be very lucky and get yeah. get a nice thick chocolate egg. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right. So we're going to take them out now. Yeah. So what we, we'll take our should we take our painted you know the this Esme yeah, ones, the ones out first. Ones out so what first. you want to do is just hold it and kind of coax it. Oh, there, oh, we go. there you go. Okay, you ready for the big reveal? Ta da! Would you look at that? <gasps> Esme's it's gonna, all good. Esme's it's nearly all good. breaking it's the egg. <laughs> I'm so clumsy. There we go. Oh, look so at that. Just... Yours is. Oh, they're both so shiny. The colours are cool, beautiful. right? It's yeah. Cool. Let's just put it down to one side. A lovely plain blue and pink. It's like a gender reveal, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we've made our eggs. They've yep. come out the moles. They're looking beautiful. They are very shiny. Very. You should be very proud of yourself. Oh, thank you. Okay. What we're going to do now mm -hmm. is seal the two halves up to make the actual whole Easter yep. egg. So we've got like a hot plate here. This is yep. quite quite warm, almost hot actually. Yeah. And we're going to melt the rims of the eggs and kind of seal them together to create that nice, delicious egg. So I'll start with mine, okay. and then you can uh, can have a look. We so. always match your gloves. I do, don't I? Look at that. Very quick. Oh wow, that is quick. Very quick, right? Because it's it is quite warm. Mm -hmm. So just just keep that in mind. Literally, give it a kiss, gently and carefully place the egg on. Keep Proper. your finger under it. Okay. Right. Three, two, one. Okay, now try and try and not touch the egg as much as possible. Look at that. Professional. It could have gone a lot worse. Could have gone a lot worse. So we'll like just me bashing it before when I went down bang. a little bit. Tidy up any any marks. But not not bad. Not bad. Not bad, right? Yeah. So it's now the moment of truth, the big reveal. Here is what our eggs are looking like. They look so shiny. I've got to say, the colours are so vibrant as yes, well. They're it's really awesome, pretty. isn't it? They're so really nice. The real question is for every challenge, Esme, have I passed the test? How have I done? Yeah, I think you've actually passed the test with, with flying colours. Oh, today. Thank I you. was not expecting. I know that the letters yeah, are a bit. Yeah, was a bit of violent. Off, but other that. than that, everything's nice. You know, the colours have all come away correctly. Your horse outline is really nice. You, you sealed the egg really nice as well. I was very impressed. Oh, thank very you impressed. Very much. You've actually come away with a whole egg. It looks like it looks know. like a thing. It actually yeah. looks like an egg shape. There were a lot of moments where it could have potentially have gone wrong. Hundred yeah. percent, and very wrong as well. Because of the success of the eggs, and well, especially my one is actually sort of turned out egg shaped. We're actually going to be doing a giveaway over on my Instagram page. So all you have to do is find the reel, read the captions with the instructions on how to enter. So best of luck. We're also going to be giving away some of your chocolates as well. I believe from Art Chocolat. That is correct. Yeah, we'll, we'll throw in a box of. 12 chocolates in there as well as these two lovely this Esme Easter eggs. They're only two of their kind yeah, in the world. Yeah, very special. Most One of exclusive. a kind. Most so, exclusive Easter eggs there yeah. is. So thank you so much, Jack, for very kindly having us today here filming and teaching me how to make Easter eggs. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very much for having me on the channel. And uh, it's been really fun to make these very cool Easter eggs. Well, I'll leave all of Jack's like socials and information in the description below if you'd like to check out his chocolate. But thank you so much, guys, for watching today's video. If you're new or have not done so already, please like and subscribe. It really does help me out and I really do appreciate it. And we'll see you all next time. Bye.